Hello, Jan's Bacon. Yeah, you enjoyed the trip to the library, did you? Yeah. No, I only got the one book. But it's got lots of stories in it. It's called Twitter Twitterfield Tales. Actually, I was just about to read it. What did you get? Who? Huh? What? Native what? Really? You sure about that? Native troll, I would say. Yeah, but anyway, listen, I'm busy. I'm just about to film, so if you don't... Yeah. Dobie who? Dobie... Dobie Pants? Oh, okay. I'll see if there's a little story about her in that book. All right then, my darling. I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right then. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Jan's Reviews. Today, we've got another story time because I went to the library. I got myself another book. It looks very similar to the other one, but this one I like because there's many stories in it. So the one I'm going to read tonight is called The Troll Who Couldn't Take a Compliment. So, shall we begin? <laughs> Twitterville has a population of millions. The size of Russia, it is vast, but that's where the similarity ends. With a Mediterranean climate, it has become a sought-after destination for people to visit. Some even set up home permanently. Its charms include a fantastic <laughs> a fantastic coastline, bustling townships and exquisite natural landscapes. That sounds like the place for me, guys, because I can't be doing with this cold weather. It's floored me. My 2020 has not been good because I live in England and the weather is crap. Anyway, back to the story. Dobie Pants lived down... I'll be able to read this in a minute, guys. Just bear with me. We'll get it together. Dobie Pants lived in an unfavourable township called Trollton, which had an increasing amount of undesirables living in close proximity to each other. Its hostile environment facilitated an atmosphere of meanness and malice, and the residents were feared. Feared they were throughout Twitterville. Dobie's days were spent at her computer. She hated living in Trollton and dreamt of someday moving to a more pleasant area in Twitterville. She didn't see herself as a troll. In her deluded mind, she was a successful YouTuber. Yeah. With 6,000 subs... She felt that she had a decent following and tried extremely hard to establish herself with various content topics, such as playing Minecraft. My son used to play Minecraft, but he's outgrown it now. Anyway, that's by the by. Speaking on other creators, showing off her new car, making herself into memes. Why would you do that? What is a meme anyway? I like gifs. I use those a lot on Twitter. Anyway, I'm rambling, sorry. Muckbanging. Oh, God. Don't you hate that? Oh, anyway. And shopping hauls. Also, she liked reading her hate comments. Well, that must have been like a two-hour blooming video. That's all I can say. I'm digressing. Get back to the story, Jan and makeup tutorials. However, her lack of views began to depress Dobie. So she turned to Twitter as a place to vent her anger 
and hostility to anyone who cared to watch or read her tweets. Her, uh, her obnoxious, what's that word? Videoed. Rants rewarded her a small amount of online infamy, but larger YouTubers shouting her out and consequently increasing her YouTube subscriber count definitely swelled her head. And it wasn't long before she envisaged stardom. She thought she was going to the top. Anyway, she became insufferable and confrontational, constantly injecting herself into scandals that didn't involve her. If there was no scandals, she would quite simply fabricate one in order to be seen as relevant, at which point her eager subs would spring into action in order to protect their prodigy. Now, in a nearby village lived the Tea Time family. Nelson and Molly also enjoyed their online life, but recently their experience had been soured by trolls from the neighbouring township. It seemed everything they did or said would be spun on its axle and turned into something extremely different or entirely different as what it says in the book to what they intended. Trolls were deliberately twisting their content to make it seem problematic. They also wanted to force a wedge between the tea times little realising that their bond could never be broken. So they were wasting their blooming time. Nelson was the troll's main target, probably because he was so handsome and, like, gorgeous, really. Very gorgeous. Anyway, um, as although he showed charisma, style and wisdom, the trolls also detected insecurity as a weakness. Their targeted attacks were relentless. Jealousy is a mighty opponent, but Nelson stood strong in his resolve to be the better man. Good old Nelson, that's what I say, yeah, yeah. One idea he had was to try to share positivity, love and kindness across Twitterville. So he set about extending his benevolence and began complimenting various other creators. Whether they were friends of his or not, he hoped that by showing love, he may be, it may be the answer. You won't believe how that's written in this book. This book's going back. Can't read it. A lot of rubbish. Doby Pants was complimented on a photo but chose not to accept it. I wonder why. Maybe she's not used to compliments. Anyway, uh, carry on. She saw it as a green light to instigate an attack, an unwarranted invasion of bitterness and stupidity, claiming the tea times were inciting bullies to go and antagonise and bully her. Why would she say that? She immediately fired up her computer to rant about the compliment to her subs, who subsequently and unbelievably took Dobie's side and forthwith flooded the tea times with insults. The words backhanded compliment were thrown at them from all directions. She questioned the validity, validity of the compliment insisting that it must have been, it must have come from a place of negativity. That's all rather bizarre. Why? Why would somebody do that? Trollton was frantic with excitement. Oh, hang on. We've got a bit... <laughs> Not going to the doctors. You know when you go to the doctors and you sit there and you want to write, you want to read what they've written about you. And you can't because they do it in comedy go. This book's a little bit like that. I think I might have to take it back, guys. Um, right, let, let me just concentrate here. Trollton was frantic with excitement. 
uh, the scenario was exactly what the trolls enjoyed. Dobie sat smirking while she watched her view count on her failing YouTube channel in the hope that numbers would go up. Did they go up? We don't know, and the book doesn't tell us that, so I don't know why I keep going off on a tangent. must be very hard for you guys to hear, to listen to me. I'm sorry. I'll try and stick to it now. This was exactly what she needed, she thought. But Dobie's plan wasn't foolproof, and people with brain cells began questioning her true intentions and integrity. So it seemed that Dobie Pants was destined to stay in Trollton as Twitterville would forever be out of her reach. Ah! Her underhandedness and blatant attention-seeking ways were seen as glaringly shameless. Her inability to accept a compliment was seen as manipulative and ultimately cemented her future in Trollton. Well, there you go. Serves her bloody right. Her days would be spent gazing out across the dark blue waters off the coast of Trollville, watching... The mesmerising movements of the sea lions. There were many sea lions in that sea in Trollville, don't you know? Many, 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 many. And the tea times. They continued to flourish and learnt to bat trolls away like an unwanted pest. <laughs> Why you blooming troll? <sighs> right. Um, their integrity was never really challenged. Well, uh, do you know what, guys? I really like that. I think. Oh, oh! Looks like there is another chapter coming. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Jan's Reviews for my story times because they're quite good. Ah, uh, yeah. A lot of people seem to like them. So. <laughs> Give me a like, give me a thumbs up and and all that business. Can't be bothered. How you doing? You all right, guys? I'm okay. The cold's almost gone. I got some ear thing. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. If you like this video, I've done all that. Right, so I'm going. Take care of yourselves out there, guys. It's a rotten old world. And also, online is a bit rotten at times, isn't it? So we have to look out for ourselves and we have to look out for each other. So. I hope to get another story time out for you in the very, very near future. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.